and good evening and welcome to this Monday, October 8th edition of Size Eyes on the Skies. Today it was cool, windy, and dreary, but will that continue for much longer? Sean and Colleen will have the full forecast coming up in a bit, but stay tuned as this edition of Size on the Skies starts right now. Broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU TV's longest running television show brings you the weather around the country in Iowa, Ames, and beyond. The Iowa State Meteorology Department's team of forecasters keeps you ahead of the next weather system. Size Eyes on the Skies starts now. Size Eyes in the Skies. I am joined by Sean. Sean, how are you doing this evening? I am doing wonderful. It's, you know, it's pretty It's pretty nice out there. Yeah, well, it's, it's sort of windy cool. today. Oh, yeah, it was but very windy. Wind gusts up around 38 miles per hour today. I got hit in the face by a couple leafs. Oh, yeah, that happens during fall. Oh, yeah, I know. It's a lot of fun. It's not joyful out today. Uh, it could it have been better, but uh, it's sort of cloudy today. There are peaks of sun throughout the day, but mm -hmm. uh, I know you'll have more coming on. Oh, yeah. The current country, Colleen, yep. will have yep. there's Yep, there's, uh, there's a good amount of cool air coming in throughout the country, so we'll be taking a look at that. There's even some freeze warnings and... Uh, Frost advisories out for the eastern portions of the U.S., but uh, yeah, we'll be taking a look at, at that up in ahead of national. Yeah, most of the country's experiencing this major cool down. Oh yeah. But we'll know from Colleen more if we'll keep having these cooler temperatures or if they'll warm up. But for now, let's send it over to Colleen and check in with her. How are you doing, Colleen? Not too bad. So um, pretty breezy today, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, I mean, like Sean said, leaves blowing around all over. Kind of a chilly start this morning. Yeah, you could really hear that wind whipping around through Freddie Court could. today. Like, I could hear it in my bedroom this morning, and it was brutal. It sounded but like the windows wanted to pop right out. Uh, it did, but yeah. once that sun popped out for a little bit today, it warmed up. Pretty yes, it nice. Did. Turned out to be a very nice day. Good uh, fall weather, but let's uh, go ahead and take a look at our day planner coming up. All right, well, looking at your morning, heading to class tomorrow, another kind of cool start in the 40s. Um, kind of mostly cloudy with the new system will be coming in. Looking at the noon, about 54, still mostly cloudy. It's going to be kind of another, like, dismal day, maybe not super joyful like this afternoon was. Then looking into tomorrow evening, still at 54, pretty cloudy. So overall, it'll be another kind of cloudy day. Some of those sunshines might not be popping through again, but that's kind of all it is for Iowa. All right, right thank now. you very much, Colleen. Well, we're going to take it to our first break, and then once we come back after this break, Sean will give you your national forecast, so you're going to want to stay tuned. And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. Today was a joyful day, but taking a look at your current temps around the state or nation right now, we're going to send it over to Sean Stelton for your national forecast. Sean, take it away. All right, well, thank you, Zach. Right now, we're going to take a look at your current temps throughout the uh, nation. Right now, we got kind of a little bit of, of a cool down coming off up in Billings, Montana, where they're sitting at about 46, but down in Phoenix, they, they're pretty steamy right now, about 94 degrees. Um, looking over into the eastern side of the U.S., we got fi about 55 degrees in New York City, with Atlanta sitting at about 59. So it's been pretty pleasant throughout the, throughout most of the U.S., but um, you know, kind of a cool down coming through. Looking, well, let's see if we can get this thing to move. There we go. All right, so there we go. I'm still getting used to this thing, folks. So. Highs this afternoon in Denver, we're about 73, 94 in Phoenix, so they're, they're pretty much sitting at their highs right now. Billings was, got up to about 50. Once again, over into the eastern U.S., we're at about 63 in Atlanta, and the high up in New York was 56. So not too much different than what our current temperature is at the moment, where tomorrow's highs, once again, are not looking too bad. We got a little bit of a cool air coming down um, into Minnesota around Minneapolis, which is going to be at about 53 degrees. And down into St. Louis, we're looking at 69 and 81 in Dallas. Zooming, zooming in down into Iowa, tomorrow's forecast includes a little bit of rain chance. Um, so there might be some showers for you while you're walking to class and stuff. 
Uh, Des Moines will be sitting at about 59. Uh, Minneapolis, once again, at about 53 and 69 down in Kansas City with partly cloudy skies. Zooming out and looking at your national clouds and radar, um, not too much going on throughout the U.S. Got a couple showers up in Minnesota and uh, Wisconsin, some showers over in Montana, but other than that, we had some storms earlier down in Tennessee and Kentucky, but really nothing too substantial going on throughout the country. Zooming into Minnesota, though, and focusing on those showers, you see there was a little bit of a snow and maybe even a little bit of a mix of precip up near the border of Minnesota and Canada. But once again, just general light showers, maybe a couple lightning bolts every once in a while up uh, near Duluth. But other than that, pretty calm. Looking at your future cast, we're, we're going to start you out at 7 p.m. So right now, moving you through the night up until about 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, it looks like we're going to have some showers up near the Minnesota and Iowa border um, moving through as we advance even further. Those showers move off into Wisconsin and start extending down into the Missouri area. So, you know, we may see a couple of showers down here in Ames, but they're probably going to be pretty light. And as we move into Wednesday evening and Wednesday night, those showers move off into Ohio and start moving off into the eastern U.S. and out of our viewing area. And once again, ending at about 6 Wednesday, those showers have moved off towards New York. Current watches and warnings, we've got several of them throughout the U.S. We've got a red flag warning up in Minnesota, so that'll be out until 7 p.m. Monday. So watch, you know, watch any uh, fire burning or whatever. Up in near Lake Michigan, there's some gale warnings out, so they're going to be having some high winds. And over in the eastern U.S., we have some freeze, freeze watches and warnings. And so we're going to take a look at Pittsburgh, who was in the middle of that uh, freeze warning. So they're looking at a low of about 36 tonight with um, highs tomorrow going into, the si or going into the 60s. But overall, they're looking like they may be a little bit cooler. So we're going to take it back over to Zach at the desk, and that's your national weather. Thank you very much, Sean. Let's go ahead and take, it your, take a look at your trivia question for this evening. And your trivia question for this evening is, based on average wind speeds, which city is considered to be the least windiest? Is it A, Tallahassee, Alaska, B, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, C, Medford, Oregon, or D, McGrath, Arkansas. And we'll have that answer coming up after the break, which you want to stay tuned. So join us after this break. And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. Let's take a look at that trivia question again to recap what the question was. Based on the average wind speeds, which city is considered to be the least windiest? Is it A, Tanata, Alaska, excuse me, B, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, C, Medford, Oregon, or D, McGrath, Arkansas? And your answer is... B, Oak Ridge, Tennessee. That's sort of surprising for the least windiest city. But now let's head over to Colleen for your Iowa forecast and see what she has in store for us this week. Colleen, take it away. All right. Well, thank you. Let's see if we can get those graphics popping up. Currently, right now out in Ames, we have about 64 degrees. Winds south southwest at 22 miles per hour. So kind of gusty as we've been kind of experiencing earlier in today. And then if we look at your current temps around the state, 64 in Ankeny, 65 in Des Moines, and all of in Fort Dodge, 64, so kind of 60s all around the state this evening. Taking a wider look at uh, temps around the state, Waterloo, 63, Mason, 64, however, Sioux City is up in 70s, so pretty mild conditions, some fall-like weather still kind of hanging around. Wind speeds currently around the state, 22 in Ames, 23 in Mason City. We've been having some of those gusts hanging around, so it might have your hair blown around like I had today. Looking at clouds and radar, few little clouds kind of moving through. As today was mostly cloudy. A few rays of sunshine kind of popping through. Maybe a few little spotty showers up in uh, um, <laughs> Minnesota and South Dakota, but nothing really hitting our area right now. 44 for a low tonight. Kind of gusty, but mostly cloudy as we have that kind of slight chance of rain kind of moving in. Winds will still be kind of calm. 56 for high tomorrow. Another kind of calm, kind of cool day. Winds from the southwest, 5 to 13 miles per hour. And those showers are kind of early. They'll be tapering off later into the day. Looking at our seven-day forecast, 50s and 60s for much of your you know, rest of the week. But as we pan out into your uh, weekend, looks like for the game, I might have some rainy weather popping up as we head into the um, morning hours. 60% chance of rain, so hopefully that won't mess with the game day as everyone will be heading out for that football game. 
Well, yeah, that one, that one, since you're talking about that right now, it's sort of interesting. Uh, we've been watching it, most of us, because yeah. there could be a possibility for severe weather, which would be devastating since Iowa State will be playing this weekend. So mm-hmm. half and half, you know, it's like you want it to happen for us storm chasers, and you don't want it to happen because you want to, you know, the game. Well, so, those game you know, days. You know, yeah. maybe, 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 you know, not only will Kansas State get beat by <laughs> the – Football cyclones, they'll also get beat by real cyclones. cyclones. Yes. So, you know, that happened several years, like... A November 12th. Yeah, 2005, 2005 seven yeah. years ago. Yeah. And from what I've been hearing from a lot of the um, other meteorology majors is this system is setting up ex- very, very similar to how that system set up, almost just eerily similar. Which would be sort of devastating in itself since their Iowa State athletics are releasing numbers for this week in games, and there's yes. only like 500 yep. tickets left. No, they're, so they're going quick. They, and they it's think, gonna be so packed. Exactly. So And you know, if you I have mean, to evacuate the stadium. You know, hopefully it, it is a morning game. It's yeah. an eleven o'clock kickoff. So hopefully, you know, as long as the game doesn't get delayed by morning storms that might be rolling through, um, then hopefully it can get done by the time, you know, those other more stronger storms might be starting to fire. So it'd be one to watch. It'd I mean, be. even if you can't like the game's delayed. Yeah. There's still tailgates beforehand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People in the mornings getting up really early, making those pancakes in the morning. I don't know about you, but I think I will be one of those people out there. Floor director Corey Hart is excited about <laughs> that. Oh, he wants those pancakes. Yeah. Oh, yes. But before Everyone we get to this pancakes. weekend, you know, we got to experience some cooler temperatures, but it looks mm-hmm. like, but this weekend and late next week, like you said, yeah. it's going to start warming up, which hopefully it starts warm up, you know. But it was today that wind was really windy, and it looks like tomorrow. Tomorrow's? No, fairly gusty again, yeah. but not as bad as today. Oh, no. But uh, tomorrow, maybe an umbrella, do you think? Possibly. Maybe a few spotty showers in the morning, morning. but. So I just bring it just in case. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. But otherwise, yeah, so only tomorrow for rain, and then mm-hmm. Saturday and Sunday for rain. Take a look at the seven day forecast there. Something there. And overnight lows. Ten- tomorrow, tonight looks like the coolest night. Yes, and then we'll kind of pick back up a little bit, warm up, and then by the time we hit the weekend. We're back up to where we've been, like, the past few weeks. Pretty, oh, yeah. you know, mild. Do you th- now, about this weekend's game, mm-hmm. do you think the sun will be out during the game, or do you think we'll be influenced by showers at that time? I don't know. I think there might be an influence of some showers. Yeah. That, it, it's looking like there might be some uh, pop-up showers that hold out or that spread up during the beginning of the game. However, <laughs> towards, towards the end, we may have um, some clearing going on, so... So maybe bring a poncho. Yeah, just in case. Especially, you know, you don't want to be caught out in the stands when it starts, yeah. you know, pouring rain. Exactly. That wouldn't be any fun. Although, you know, rain in itself during the game could be fun. Oh, that could be. I yeah, mean, you never know how the student section would take that. But this weekend game, do you have any predictions on how this weekend game will go? Oh goodness, I, I don't, I don't even, I don't even want to, I don't even want to <laughs> think about it. I'm well, really nervous tw- for this. We're season. ranked 25 in the coaches we poll are, right now. So we are. It'd be great if we, if we won. If we win this, it would be a huge opportunity for us. Be um, beat the number five yeah. team in the coaches poll, number six in the AP poll. I've heard a few people said they're excited if we beat them because they want to rush the field. Oh yeah, I think I definitely oh. think we would. I mean, you know. We rushed the field last year when we beat Iowa, and I'm not even sure if they were ranked <laughs> at that point. I don't know if they so, were. So, um, yeah. you know, I that I think it could be great if we beat them. It would be amazing, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be devastated if we lose. So either way, it's it'll be interesting. It'll be a good weather weekend. Let's put it that way. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. So we got to endure these cooler temps, mm-hmm. warm up by the weekend. Stay tuned on Wednesday as our crew will have more details about this weekend storm. And if it's progressing, because it changes a lot during the week. So uh, stay tuned for Wednesday. But from all of us here at Size Eyes in the Skies, thank you for joining us this evening and have a great night. Are we on to that one? Are we on that one?